Hey guys, how's it going? As you can see, I don't have a Pearson guitar shirt on. I have this new apron. Henry Laurie at uh, Johnson Workwear Depot uh, has uh, hooked me up with a couple of these aprons. Uh, I will be wearing these around the workshop instead of uh, wrecking my clothes. Um, yeah, so I will be wearing these uh, fantastic aprons in the workshop from now on. Um, but anyways, today, here at Pearson Guitars, Um, I have uh, this is this is a really cool strat. This is a John Mayer signature strat. Yes, obviously he's moved over to PRS, but these uh, these John Mayer strats are still fantastic. Um, John Mayer is one of my favorite uh, musicians that's still alive. Um, and today on this, we're just going to be doing a basic setup, um, and then the customers asked me to change out a couple of these uh, rusty screws for some new ones. Um, cool, I'm going to get the strings off and then we'll get going with uh, cleaning up the fingerboard. I've got the strings off and uh, with vintage strats, the truss rod adjustment is here. So uh, we've got to remove the neck completely to adjust the truss rod. Uh, I checked the neck relief before I took the strings off and there was just way too much neck relief. Um, and those were nine gauge strings previously. I'm moving up to 10 gauge strings. So I'm gonna take the neck off, give the truss rod a little tighten, and while the neck is off, then we can get to cleaning this up. Okay, so this is from 2007. This neck profile is fantastic. Um, that was one of the first things I noticed about this guitar. This neck shape is great. Quite chunky, but really, really, really nice. Cool. I'm going to give the truss rod uh, just a quarter turn. Um, as you can see, the adjustment is right there. Cool. And I'm going to see what that does uh, with the 10 gauge strings. Um, it's always difficult to gauge how sensitive a truss rod is, so you've got to just make an adjustment and see how much it adjusts. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, the spreadboard is quite clean. Um, the only thing is it's very, very dry, so I'm going to uh, put uh, probably like a medium amount of oil on it, um, but I'm going to still... Uh, push it in and polish it with the steel wool. Cool. So I've got my 0000 grade steel wool and my proprietary uh, fretboard oil. Uh, I just put a little bit of it into the steel wool and polish it into the fingerboard. And this polishes the frets nicely as well. this for about 20 minutes to just make sure all the excess oil has come out of the rosewood um, and then I'll wipe it down again and then I will uh, put the neck back on. Alright so the neck is back on and I've replaced a couple of the screws um, and now we can get to stringing it up and then after stringing it up I'll be able to see uh, where the neck relief is and then uh, I'll most likely have to take the neck off again uh, to adjust the truss rod um, and then I'll show you how I do that without uh, messing up the strings on the tuners. Cool. So on here I'll be putting a set of paradigms. Um, these are the strings that the uh, customer uh, brought along. Um, so that's cool. Um, yeah, let's get going.
everything's tuned up. Um, I'm going to check the neck relief, um, but just rest assured that as much as I'm checking the neck relief this way now, um, pretty much as soon as the uh, video is done and I've got more space on my uh, bench, I check everything again in the player's position. Um, because, well, this you've got all sorts of gravity working with the neck, um, but I always, uh, even before the customer comes to collect, um, I always recheck everything in the player's position. This is just so that I'm telling you guys what I'm doing. Um, but cool, so let's check neck relief. Uh, so I've got the capo on the first fret. And on a strat, um, I, I like a 0 0.3 millimeter uh, relief. Yeah, it's it's probably about point point two of a millimeter too much, so um, I'm going to loosen the strings and take the neck off again and tighten it up a little more. So uh, what I do to make sure that I don't mess up any of the strings in the tuner um, is while loosening, I loosen all the strings to a to a certain extent, then I'll put the capo back on um, when I've got enough slack on this side uh, and then I can take the neck off quite easily without it messing up the orientation uh, of the strings in the tuners. Okay so now the strings are pretty slack, slacked off, however you want to say it and then I just slightly pull them and the capo holds them quite nicely over there making sure that they don't fall off the tuners. Um, cool, let's get the neck off again. Okay, so after taking the neck off another two times, um, just adjusting the truss rod slowly, uh, I, I'm happy with where the neck relief is at. Um, and everything is uh, in tune. Uh, take the capo off now. Um, I'm gonna start setting the action. Cool. Okay, so this is this is a 7.25 inch radius fretboard. So uh, usually with a 7.25, uh, the the action is gonna be around 1.75 millimeters on both sides. Um, Fender later went to the uh, 9.5 uh, inch radius fretboard. Um, which there you can get about 1.5 mils on both sides uh, and then some of the modern strats uh, have got the compound radius and then you can go really low like 1.25 on the low side one mil one millimeter on the high side um, but with this since it's a 7.25 um, we're gonna go uh, 1.75 on both sides Let me, just, let me actually, let me show you what it does. If you can't do a full uh, bend, which is a two semitone bend, uh, sure, uh, the guitar is not really set up nicely. So, can't bend to that note, so. See, there it chokes out. So, We'll raise it to the 1.75 and then I'll show you that you can get a full bend out of that. Okay. But only just, only just, any further than that and it tends to choke out. Yeah, it chokes out after that. And then I've got my 
understring radius gauge to just get it even across the entire spectrum. Hmm. It was pretty even. I'm happy with that. Uh, now we can go for intonation. Once again, I also do check intonation again in the player's position. Alright, so the camera decided that it didn't want to play with me anymore. So I just finished setting the pickup heights. Um, so that is pretty much it. Uh, so let's do a little playthrough uh, while I play some uh, licks by John Mayer and YouTube won't be able to take it down because this channel isn't monetized anyway. Cool. So let's do a little playthrough. <laughs> So that concludes this video. So just a quick recap, we've got a 7.25 inch radius fretboard. So we've got 1.75 uh, millimeter action on both sides. The pickup height is three millimeters on the low end, 2.5 on the high end. Um, intonation is cool, nut height is cool. I'm very happy with the setup. Um, the guitar plays uh, fantastically. It really gives a uh, vintage strat like feel. Um, I like it when I have to fight a strat a little more. Um, yeah, so thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next time. Cheers.